Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Doesn't seem like five minutes since the Raspberry Pi Foundation released the Compute module. And already we've got another new product. This is the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. It's a significant enhancement and upgrade to the Raspberry Pi. Let's have a little walk around the board. First off, we've got two double USB connectors. So you've got four USB ports. This is the composite connector, but it's also the audio connector. It's one of those special connectors like you have sometimes on car DVD players to connect a second screen. So it handles composite video and audio through one 3.5mm jack, but it's a four pole one. The next thing of note is that the micro USB power port has been moved to this side. So if you'll see, there are no longer any ports on that side going outwards or on that side going outwards. So you've actually only got things to connect to the Pi in two directions, this side and this side. So here you've got the ethernet like we always had on the Model B. The other next really big glaring thing is you've actually got more pins. Here we've got a 40 pin header and that gives you eight new ports broken out that you can use for general purpose input output and a few more ground ports. You've also got mounting holes in corner places and rounded corners. The other thing is over here the power circuit has been done in a different way such as now you've got a much more efficient switching regulator which means people who are using the Pi in battery powered applications should get a longer duration for the same size battery. But that's not all that's changed. Let's flip it over and show you the back. The most obvious change is that you've got a metal micro SD slot instead of a plastic SD slot. This should make things much more robust and now if you drop your Pi you won't break the slot and render it unusable without a severe repair. You've also got lots and lots of test points and here from this side you can get a good view of the four mounting points as well. It doesn't fit in an Altoids tin, I've tried it. So as regards the GPIO header, the top uh, 26 ports are exactly the same as they were before. The next two are do not connect and the remaining ones are a mixture of extra ports broken out and ground ports. So the nice thing about that is it means that all the breakout boards that were designed for the original Rev B will still be usable. It's just you would use them on the top part of the header and you'd still have some spare pins left over, like this. So as you can see, there you've got the Raspire breakout attached to the top pins. Then a few pins are covered, which doesn't really matter because the first two can't be used anyway and you've still got some spare ones there if you need them. And it's exactly the same with the Raspire breakout pro. Still works with the new Pi. The only boards that won't work are the ones that took the whole footprint because the USB ports have moved about five or six millimeters that way. So for example, a full size board that was designed for the previous edition would not be able to fit, fit like that. It would have, it would be okay with a larger header that could sit on top of the USB ports, but uh, otherwise not. So let's have a little tour of the board. There on the left you have the display interface. Here we've got the GPIO pins and the USB ports and the chip that drives them and Ethernet port. Here down you, here on the left you have the composite and audio interface and the camera port, HDMI port, and the new power circuitry and the power port and then we're back up to the top again. How does it compare with its older brothers and sisters? Well here we have an, an early model B Rev 2 and you can see it's almost the same size in fact the board is actually the same dimensions. You can see clearly the bigger pin header here, the four USB ports, the different composite. It actually makes the overall footprint of the board smaller. The USBs don't stick out very far past the edge of the board, whereas on the old Model B they did. So although the board is the same size, the, uh, the actual overall footprint of the Pi is less. Obviously this composite and audio port combined is much smaller 
and having those two ports. Other than that, it looks like a general tidy up. The, uh, the power circuitry is uh, obviously going to be more efficient because it's a switching regulator, and obviously, instead of having connections for power on that side, audio and video on that side, USB and Ethernet and HDMI, so you've got connections on all four sides on the previous model. Now you've only got connections on this side and this side, which makes it much neater. I also notice there's a little header down there called Run. I don't know whether that's a reset header or what, because I haven't seen any documentation yet, but no doubt in the due course we will find out what that does. Let's fire it up with the latest HDMI Pi, shall we? As you can see, that's booting beautifully. I haven't enlarged the font size on this one yet, but uh, that's easily done. And that was pretty quick as well. This is using the latest Raspbian from June 2014. go. What's the upgrade I'm the most pleased about? Having dropped pies on a couple of occasions uh, from kicked cables and other things and having broken SD card slots twice and had to fix them I'm absolutely delighted with this. Metal micro SD slot is a huge improvement but as a GPI nut I love having extra ports. I think also as a battery power user I love the fact that the power circuit is going to be more efficient which means you can get a longer use of out of the same battery life and the USB port upgrade is awesome as well as is the composite and audio slot combining those it's just brilliant I love it but the SD card slot wins it for me but all the other upgrades are excellent upgrades in my opinion it's a significant upgrade a massive improvement also I believe it's much more tolerant of lower voltages too, so it may not be quite so necessary to have a top-notch power supply. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.